please take heart. I'm the last one, so you are soon going home. Take heart, it's not a presentation, it's an exercise. I am from university. I'm used to giving people an exercise when they like they, they, it's the last thing in the evening. So for me, I'm, so I'm presenting on gender and economic what I use this, meaning I'm presenting actually a summary of the rest of all of you because everything you touched on must have an economic touch. So this one is a, I start by a reminder of one of the three Dublin principles. I hope the fonts are not clear. Maybe you can... Uh, So the, the four Dublin principles, whereby we, they are already, we know that. So starting from there, they, there is uh, water becoming an economic good, at the same time we, women playing an important role. Then as a result, all this, my friends here have already presented a lot that has been done. NGOs have been formed, there are women's issues being discussed, and also policies have been done, done and these institutions, and gender mainstreaming born. However, even with all this, even with all this, that's why we are all here today, because uh, we haven't done enough at the economic level. Meaning, I won't look at women as a victim of failure to mobilize water. Actually, I look at women being partner in mobilizing the water. And that's where the exercise starts. If you look at uh, this table, I have a, uh, uh, it's not bad news, but I'm telling you I have 20 points to show you where women could. Uh, if it was, this was one of my classes, I would ask, uh, give it a, a, a score of 30. If it's 30, we raise our hands. If it's below 30, we, we maybe boo or something like that. So if you look at it like this, that if it comes to uh, domestic water supplies, what piped water supplies for domestic use, do we, do we see the women making money? Do we see the women being the engineers designing them? Do you see, uh, the, the, let's take also the, the bottled water. In the case of the bottled water, it's big business. How many of the women are, can someone maybe commission a study like that one? Then another one is the development of water and infrastructure. That river diversions, wells, not as a, where are the women? when we are digging the wells. Then the other one is uh, water service, water kiosks, water vending, both rural and urban. In other ones, I'm identifying business opportunities for both men and women. But unfortunately, if you think of the gender dimension, you see where the gaps are. And, and the list goes on, so the rest I'll read quickly. The services to water providers, small things like uh, uh, Tablets to treat water, kits for treatment, repairs and spare parts, uh, bolts and nuts. Eh? Then we have the irrigation. A lot have been said about agricultural water. The suppliers, the development, the services. Where are my sisters in that one? Then we have the water management in Rainfend, the equipment that goes there, the flood control and drainage, the water and the hydroelectricity generation including hydro, micro hydro, and mini hydro. In your country, do you see many women being involved in that provision? And then uh, water for industry, provision, mobilizing, recycling, and disposal. Waste water disposal is big in business in some countries. Where are they? Then we have uh, water for fisheries, marine, lake fishing, fish ponds. In a bit of the fish ponds are being done by the women, maybe I've run my list here more than here, sorry. Uh, these are supposed to be <coughs> 10, 11, and so on. Eh? So uh, 10, 11, and so on, water for industry, water for mining, in G, mining of salt, gold panning. We, we have lots of women doing gold panning, but like someone said, they do it at the lower end of, of the mining spectrum. Then we have water for transport, the boats and shipping, this time as a, uh, as a business. When you go for a boating trip across the, the canal or something, or across the lake, 
that business, that water in business. Then we have um, water and environment, waste water disposal. I know when we come to tree planting, lots of tree planting projects are for, for women, but the bigger things are still, they are still missing. Then water for tourism, uh, waterfalls, hotels, tours, all that. Eh? The where we, we water touches tourism. Then you have water and sanitation, which was mentioned here by Rosemary, I'm sure. Upgrading rural and urban sanitation, the wash initiatives. Uh, maybe there they will discuss something. Then sewerage treatment and wastewater management. Then water for food processing, for SMEs. Someone to provide us a small village with water and charge a small fee. Would the women be among those ones? And then water for recreation, e.g. water sports, for swimming, for fishing, sailing, and then water education, research, science, and technology where I come from, I've finished. Thank you. <laughs>